<coughs> Hello and welcome to part 4 <laughs> Yes we made it to the Stocks Reservoir after getting slightly lost near Slaben Unless I was holding my map upside down I got the bearing slightly wrong but here we are Stocks Reservoir, isn't that lovely? I should just do a short upload just to show you you know, if you can check a map where Stocks Reservoir is and this road up there comes from Slaben to here and up there apparently it goes for miles and miles about 12 to 15 miles up to Kirby Lonsdale where the bike meet is and I wondered is it worth going there today? Oh and popular with cyclists as well Nice spot though isn't it? We could be in the Lake District but no, it's just a reservoir. And if it's man made. I think what it is, if there's a valley, people come along, engineers, and uh, oh yeah, we can convert this, we'll just block it off, put a road over it, build this stone bank, and uh, sort of fill it up, or let rainwater fill it up naturally. I don't know, how do they build reservoirs? I mean, it looks a bit murky, doesn't it? Of course, it'll be all drained off and cleaned. But it does look natural, that lovely sandy little beach area. I'd like to walk down to it and run across that sand and sink up to my neck. <laughs> That'd be a good video, wouldn't it? Sinking in sand. Help! Help! Be a shock to my mum if I played it back. As it's a separate upload, we'll just have a look over here again. <coughs> this is the murky part, the overflow. Stocked reservoir. Check your maps. Not far from Clare, Clitheroe or Sladebin if you want to visit it. Quite a high wall, but what's that? The club says private, no admission, no swimming, no fishing. Keep away, you bastards. Right, well, I think I'll carry on up the road. I might as well, I've never been up it before. <laughs> and let's see what's, what is up it, so like some more, more nice views. I just don't like this narrow road after my earlier experience with that jeep. But it's nice to discover fairly local places where you've never been. You know, I think we should all buy maps if you're a local area and study them and say, oh, we've never been there before, let's have a look. But like I said, is this the sort of road where you'd go on a on a bike ride you just have to be careful and check your time oh, stops stop reservoir car park should I turn around and have a look might be a different nice view of the reservoir there no traffic coming sorry I shouldn't move my head quick when you're doing a vlog to do gradual panning movements. Oops, there we go. I can't see anything, that's a waste of time. Oh, you must be able to walk down to the water's edge generally. Why would you have a car park here if uh, you weren't allowed to? You got pay and display. <laughs> pay and display in the middle of nowhere. How do you do? Do you know, are you allowed to walk down to the water's edge or is it forbidden or something? 
Right. There's usually a sign saying no fishing, no swimming, and it might be a water bail if it might start morning if you got to. Oh, really? All oh, right. Yeah, there's some misery guts don't like you even taking pictures. You, you could get some nice pictures down there. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, thanks very much. Anyway, I hope we're going to the water's edge today. Look at this, is it a little narrow lane for, like I said, 12 miles or so? Oh dear, just have to be careful. Let's do it, why not? I could blast me on on the, all these bends, but it might widen out further up. Bloody hell, it's like a bloody kite track. Give a little wave. It has turned out nice, not a cloud in the sky up here. Oh, it has widened out slightly. Let's hope it gets even more wider. You, know, you can enjoy a ride if you're really worrying all the time about what's going to appear. Oh, it's gone narrow again. How many miles did I say? <laughs> Should be a sign saying cyclists and motorbikes only. So this is Gisborne Forest. Is it an ancient natural woodland or is it a man-made planted one? I was asking before. Going uphill there might be some nice views when we get to the top. And in fact if there is a road that turns onto the main road I think I'll turn off. We'll see won't we. Must be an ancient, uh, ancient pathway. This. And I won't turn round. Hill is a hill in it. Just for reference, that was another nice hill with a nice view. But there should have been plenty more. As you come here yourself, just be very wary of these uh, narrow cart tracks. Don't call them a road, would you? Yeah, so which way are we meant to go now? Oh, that's a farm. I bet this was one of them pack horse routes where they all strung a load of mules together, put all cotton bales on, and marched them off to market. Look at this, my god. With a big lump in the middle. That's enough to throw your steering out. What have you driven me up here for? I've got a video to upload at home. I tried to upload a uh, video, left my computer running all night. Oh god, look at this. And when I got up this morning it said invalid. Because I left it uh, uploaded, ready to publish. And because I hadn't clicked publish, it said invalid. I couldn't. I had to delete it and I started again. And I thought I'd be home by about three o'clock <laughs> to press publish. I've got a few other channels. If you look on the other channels, it's uh, a picture of my great granddad that got killed in the First World War at the Battle of Passchendaele, William Henry Woods. Well, I mean, it won't be much interest to anyone but family. It's for my family to click on and watch. I'm uh, doing a video on my mum and dad in Tenby on holiday later this evening.
Right, so this is the top of the hill. Hopefully there'll be some nice views over this brown. A few crags and things, isn't there? Oh yes, look at that. So there are the North Yorkshire movies and over there will be that main road to settle. Good hiking country up here, park up there and have a hike on these crags. I should have brought my binoculars, I've got some sun -ago. It says Japanese made, but it says made in China on the bloody sticker. Although that's on the pouch, maybe the pouch is made in China, I hope so. Yeah, and a 20 to 100 zoom by 70. They're quite powerful. I don't know where this going. I can imagine what this is like in winter. There's no snow ports, is there? My god, Miss James. My god. Oh, it goes right between them crags. That's lovely. Yeah, lovely. At least it's somewhere new. It's not Rivington again. Well, like I said, I wouldn't exactly recommend it for bikes. I think they're snow ports, aren't they? Oh, he stopped from my interview. <laughs> right, where's the highest point here? Oh, oh yes, yeah, very nice. Let's just stop here. Look at that, isn't that lovely? <sighs> so that's the Yorkshire Dales. I don't see any sign saying Lancashire, Yorkshire. I'm going a bit too far to see behind us. Get a full panorama from up on that crag there, probably. Oh, that's Pendle Hill there. So we're not too far from home. Pendle Hill there is Clitheroe. I should climb on them crags, shouldn't I? But look, well, breaking an ankle up here. Mobile, no signal. <laughs> taxi. Hello, is that Betty's taxis? Yes, where are you? I'm on a crag. What? Crag? I'm on a crag. Up an hill. You know, Gisborne, F Gisborne Forest? No. Oh. Stay there all night. Oh, do you mean? You know what I mean? Wouldn't be wise to go crag hopping. When I'm on a bike. Anyway, that's a nice view, isn't it? I'll highlight that on my self editing methods. Put a load of times on, you turn blue, and then click on them, and it's a self editing function. Instead of me fanning around for hours, chopping and chopping, and my computer overheating. Maybe I should knock it off on this winding road. How long have I been running now? Where did I start it off from? Oh, a reservoir, that's right. I'll keep it running for a little bit. Engine doesn't sound very happy. Should I keep it in sixth gear, just chugging away? Oops, we're on six. Yeah, I'm in sixth gear now. Fifth, fourth, keep it in fourth. Sounded a bit uh, chuggy before. So, what a funny little road, isn't it? A little narrow road over the moors. No idea what these crags are called. Quite high, aren't they? So. Fly tipping, a lot of bloody plastic wire. Arseholes. Really annoys me that. Unless it's a farmer, it might be baling twine or something and plastic straps. Right, what's, uh, where's this road come out, I wonder? Some little village? I didn't actually check my map to that extent, I mean. I know 12 miles isn't that far, I mean, it's 12 minutes in it at 60 miles an hour, but 
I think I'm doing about 30, it's going to take 25 minutes. Sorry little fellas, going to be frightening sheep. <laughs> mm, another one. I'll wait you in this passing area. Let's go mad. Let's be courteous. Should I knock it off here while I'm waiting for this car? I think I will. Just so it's sort of shortish. I'll wait till he's gone then knock it off. But anyway, isn't that lovely? Stocks Reservoir, up on the crags, and I'm not sure where I am now, but we're heading towards uh, Kerber Lonsdale where the bike meet is at Devil's Bridge. And from there there's a road over to Lancaster, or I could just go back to Settle, to the Singing Kettle Tea Shop, <laughs> another scone and a nice cup of coffee. We'll see when we get back to the main air road, which is about 10 miles up here. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching.